Are you wanting to start taking creatine? I bet you're wondering how much you should be taking. Let's figure it out together. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Maya Valenti with Naked Nutrition, a private chef and nutrition coach. Today we are diving into a super popular supplement that so many people talk about, and that's creatine. Whether you're trying to build muscle or boost your workouts, or you're just curious if it's right for you, this is the video to watch, so let's dive in. All right, so first things first, what is creatine? Creatine is actually a natural compound that our body makes using three amino acids, arginine, glycine, and methionine. These work together to help with energy production, which is super important when it comes to strength and performance. So what does creatine actually do for you? Well, it's been shown to help increase muscle growth, improve strength and power, and enhance recovery, and it even supports brain function. Yep, it's not just for your muscles. Basically, if you're looking to get the most out of your workout, creatine is a solid addition to your routine. Now, one of the biggest questions asked is how much creatine should you be taking? And the answer, well, it kind of depends. The general recommendation from the International Society of Sports Nutrition is three to five grams per day. That's usually enough to keep your muscle stores full and get all the benefits. But if you do a lot of high intensity training, you might need more, even up to five to 10 grams a day. So let's talk about dosage methods because there are two ways that you can take creatine, the loading method and the maintenance method. And with that loading method, you take about 20 grams a day for a week, which is going to quickly saturate your muscles. And then you're going to drop down to a maintenance dose of three to five grams per day. Or you can just start with those three to five grams daily from the beginning, which works too. It just takes a little bit longer to see those results. All right, now let's talk about the different types of creatine out there. There's actually quite a few, but we're going to discuss the two most popular, and those are gonna be creatine monohydrate and creatine HDL. Creatine monohydrate is the gold standard. Super effective, well-researched, and affordable. It's what I personally recommend and what I personally take. Creatine HDL is a newer version and that's more soluble. You might need less, and some people say that it's easier on your stomach. No matter which one you go for, both are great options. Okay. Now let's clear some common concerns up because I know a lot of you are probably wondering about this. And one of the most asked questions is, does creatine cause weight gain? Yes and no. It does make your muscles hold on to more water, which can add a couple of pounds, but it's not fat. It's actually helping your muscles stay hydrated and perform better. Another question I often see is about hair loss. Honestly, there's no solid evidence that creatine causes hair loss. Some studies have suggested that there's a possible link to DHT levels, but nothing conclusive. So I wouldn't stress about it too much, at least not yet. <laughs> so should you take creatine? Well, if you're serious about keeping your strength and performance or even recovery, I'd say it's worth considering. Just make sure to drink plenty of water and stay consistent with it. I hope this answered all of your creatine questions. Let me know in the comments if you take creatine or if you're thinking about starting. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and for more information on our Naked Creatine, check us out at nakednutrition.com where you can get all the facts about our supplements. Because here at Naked Nutrition, we're nutrition with nothing to hide.